What's up you guys? I haven't made a video for a little while, so I thought I would give you an update on what I've been playing around with, uh, kind of tinkering with here. So this is a Ruger American Predator in 6.5 Grendel. And I wanted to see, uh, I have other rifles in this caliber and I really like it. So I wanted to see if I could make my Magwell conversion work with the Grendel like I have for the 762 by 39 so I did some other work to it as well I uh, cleaned up the trigger a little bit and then I had to clean the bolt up it was all nasty and had started to corrode I don't know if uh, the store that I bought it from uh, didn't have it stored properly or what the deal was but it was a I had to order it in so it wasn't something I could really just kind of turn away so I just I got a discount and I cleaned it up but uh, anyway, I did have to uh, modify the followers ever so slightly to get it to feed reliably. And I'll show you why here. So set this up. So you can kind of see here, get it to focus, that the front portion of the follower, I took a Dremel tool and I dremeled it down. And the reason for that is you want the round when it's inserted to be in full contact with the feed lip rail. And before it would sit kind of nose up where it wasn't a lot, but as you put more rounds in, it got more pronounced to the point where uh, the bolt would just slide over the top of the round. So by removing some material up front, it changes the angle that the follower pushes up and keeps it in its proper orientation. So I'll load some in this other magazine so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you can start to see it there pretty well. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you see how that the back of the round you can see black under it. You want it to be like this. And so just by changing the angle of the relationship between the follower and the round, I was able to get rid of that problem at least enough so that I've had reliable feeding and haven't had an issue with it going bolt over so but and then I I have these little guys on here to keep me straight on which magazine is which and I don't mix it up with my 762 by 39 because I do take a lot of new shooters out and I always want to Make sure they're not grabbing the wrong thing. But been working up some loads for this. Uh, so far, the uh, this rifle seems to actually shoot the Wolf 6.5 pretty well, which is nice because my other 6.5 Grendel, it'll shoot like two or three rounds just clustered on top of each other. And then it'll have two flyers that take the group and turn it from a half inch, three quarter inch group to a three inch group. Uh, so far, I haven't shot it enough yet. Uh, I need to shoot it some more, but it seems to be about a one MOA with the 6.5 Wolf ammo, which for as affordable as it is, that's awesome. Um, I'll be very happy with that if that proves to be the case. I do have some loads that I'm working up that, uh, the last ones I tested, I put three rounds through the same hole at 50 yards. So I didn't have a chance to shoot out at a uh, hundred when I was doing that load development. So I'm still working on that. And I've started doing a new load workup because the old powder that I had, I am not able to get a hold of. And the rounds that I've loaded up for 6.5 Grendel, I'm not able to get a hold of anymore. So trying to work up a new load with the components that I can get my hands on now. So maybe I'll uh, do another video take you guys along and uh, show you some load development for this and for the 762 by 39 because I have done some load development for that one 
And with, you know, good bullets, the 762 by 39, you know, while it's not a, you know, four or 500 yard, you know, knock them down 6.5 Creedmoor type round, it is a great 200 yards, 250 yards or less cartridge for whitetail, uh, antelope, stuff like that. So uh, next time I get out, it'll maybe be this weekend. So if I do, I'll take along the video camera and get you guys some footage and hopefully get it put up on YouTube. You guys take care. If you have any questions or are curious about these meg wells that I make, you know, just contact me. You can uh, email me at firecastlecustoms at gmail.com. I'll answer any questions you got. Otherwise, you guys take care and have a good day.